now it's time for your 420 Radio News for Monday, February 25th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Idaho Senate begins debate on anti-marijuana resolutions. We'll cover that in our Behind the Headlines segment. Pardon me. Breaking news out of Florida, the home of Kathy Jordan is currently being raided. This from the uh, Facebook page uh, of, let's go to that link there, excuse me, from David McKinney on Facebook. The home of Kathy Jordan is being raided in Florida. Uh, according to the reports, there was uh, no arrest made of Kathy, but plants were pulled and her lights and equipment were pulled. This comes just weeks after she was at the Florida legislature lobbying for the medical use of marijuana. We will bring you more details as they become available. Okay, having some problems with some of the sound effects today as well. All right, let's go on to our next story. A bill unveiled to legalize medical pot. This from Politico.com. Flanked by more than 150 advocates from around the country, Oregon Democrat Earl Blumenauer on Monday put forward his legislation allowing states to legalize medical marijuana in an effort to end the confusion surrounding federal pot policy. Blumenauer's legislation, which has 13 co-sponsors, including GOP Representative Dana Rohrabacher of California, would create a framework for the... Drug Enforcement Administration and the FDA to eventually legalize medicinal marijuana. It would also block the feds from interfering in any of the 19 states where medical marijuana is legal. The activists surrounding Blumenauer had just come from a four-day conference on medical marijuana, and many of them were veterans of campaigns to legalize the treatment in their home state. Some held signs that wouldn't be out of place at a Tea Party rally against the Affordable Care Act, reading, Get politics out of my medicine. Blumenauer's bill isn't likely to pass, but Americans for Safe Access Policy Director Mike Leshefsky said bills in four states, New Hampshire, Illinois, New York, and Maryland, have chance of becoming law this year. Majority of Iowans support legalizing medical marijuana from the Iowa City Press Citizen. More than half of Iowans favor allowing sick people to use marijuana as medicine. But the idea is not as popular as it used to be, according to the Des Moines Register's latest Iowa poll. But a large, steady majority of Iowans disapprove of allowing people to smoke marijuana just to get high. The survey found 58% of Iowa adults support legalizing medical marijuana. That's down six percentage points from a similar poll question posed in 2010. Only 29% of Iowans support allowing recreational use of the drug, up a point from three years ago. A medical marijuana bill died in an Iowa House subcommittee last month. A similar bill is pending in the Senate, but House leaders and the governor have indicated they oppose the idea, which opponents say would open the door wider to drug abuse. 7 in 10 in Florida back medical marijuana plan, and this could affect the governor's race, according to the Miami Herald. As many as 7 in 10 Florida voters support a state constitutional amendment legalizing medical marijuana, more than enough to ensure passage and possibly affect the governor's race, according to a new poll from a group trying to put the measure on the 2014 ballot. A plurality of Florida voters, about 49%, say pot should remain illegal, while about 40% say it should be legalized. But in another question, voters tacitly favored outright legalization when asked if marijuana should be regulated and taxed like alcohol and cigarettes. 68% favored it versus 27% opposed. Oklahoma medical marijuana bill granted a hearing, this from newsok.com, A bill to legalize the medical use of marijuana in Oklahoma has been granted a hearing in a Senate committee. The bill by Democratic Senator Constance Johnson of Oklahoma City will be considered Monday by the Senate Health and Human Services Committee, where it will likely face stiff opposition. The bill would allow a qualified patient or designated caregiver to possess up to 8 ounces of dried marijuana and 12 plants. Arizona lawmakers want to overhaul the state's medical marijuana law from the San Francisco gate. One lawmaker would shut down dispensaries that use unclear labels for its food products. Another measure would allow colleges and universities to conduct medical marijuana research. And a third bill would allow county zoning ordinances to apply to marijuana cultivation.
And that's your 420 Radio News for Monday, February 25th, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines to my home state of Idaho, where the Senate is debating an anti-marijuana resolution. We take a look at the statistics to see if they back up those fears. You're listening to 420radio.org. This is the Russ Belville Show. We'll be right back.